access your Google Docs once you've created them. If you want to go back in and find them after uh, you've already worked on the assignment. So I wanted to do a brief video tutorial just to show you how. So there are a couple ways that you can access that main Google Drive space where all your Google Docs are collected. Uh, one way to do it is if you're sitting here looking at the English 302 folder, you can click Google Drive here at the top. Or if you're in My ASU, you can also click uh, the link here that will go to My Docs. And when you do that, it'll take you to this main sort of space, uh, the Google Drive, and you'll notice that um, any collected documents that you have uh, are here. Uh, it will tell you whether you are the owner or whether somebody else is the owner. And uh, you also have the option to sort um, if for some reason your uh, message is not at the top, you can do last edited, you can do it by title, last modified. So that copy of the routine message scenario is right here. Uh, if I click it, I'll go back in, I'll view the uh, original message and um, you know if I needed to re-download it or if I wanted to make some edits. A couple other things that you can do uh, from this page, if you click the folder option here, you will see where it's located. Right now it's just in the main My Drive space, uh, but you do have the option of creating some folders and helping yourself to organize a little bit better. So let me go back to uh, My Drive. Uh, let's say that I wanted to put all of my English 302 assignments into a folder. I could go to Create, Folder, and type English 302 Assignments click create and now I've got a specialized folder uh, showing up here on the side which I can open and close um, from the my drive. If I go back to the main spot say I want to put this copy of the routine message scenario inside the English 302 assignments I can do it a couple ways I can either drag it and it'll move or I can click the checkbox go to the folder icon again and then I have the option of putting it uh, say in the English 302 assignments folder if I wanted to do that. If you see it's been moved and then if I accidentally did it I can always click undo. Uh, you may also want to once you're in the space figure out well how do I get back to that English 302 folder where all of uh, uh, instructor Don Hauser's files are. And you can do that very easily too by clicking shared with me and these are going to be any documents that have been shared with you whether those are individual documents or whole folders and you'll see right here at the top is the uh, English 302 folder. Now it may be a little clunky to always be going back to the shared folder so what you can actually do is drag it um, into my drive if you'd like uh, to make that easily accessible for you from the very main page. So you'll see right here is that that folder. Um, if I wanted to I can also put it in the English 302 folder make it a little bit easier, collect everything in one spot. Or uh, if you go back, a little trick is if you want to put it in multiple spots. On a PC you can hold the control key. On the Mac key you would hold, uh, you'd hold the command key and if you hold that down when you click um, you'll be able to actually put that folder in multiple places. So let's say that I wanted it easily accessible from my drive but I also wanted to be able to access it from the English 302 assignments folder. I, I could do that, click apply, and you'll see it still shows up in the main drive folder, but if I click into this fun folder that I've created, I've also got that access as well. And because I'm the owner as the instructor, um, as opposed to you being the student, you don't have to worry about moving it around on my end. This is just purely for you, the way that you want to organize your documents. So hopefully that's helpful, giving you a little bit of a sense of how to work with Google Docs on uh, the, the back end and uh, showing you how to organize it and stay uh, controlled, uh, in control of all your Google Docs this semester.